Uh, hi guys, in this session I'll explain how to install SAP if you're a beginner professor and if you want to practice SAP. So in that case, you must be having uh, SAP software available in your laptop, laptop or desktop. So here installation procedure is pretty simple guys, pretty easy and the steps are also pretty easy. Now what is happening here, look at here. This is called SAP or SAP login pad. So this installation must be there, then only you guys will be able to access any SAP server, right? So now look at here, either it will look like this one or this one. So it depends upon version, which version you have installed, right? You can install any of the version that doesn't matter. Ultimately, which server you guys are going to access that matters. Okay, so how to install this? I'll explain this. What is it? Uh, steps one by one. So now here, First of all, so for that, what, he, what is happening, guys? This is called GUI, Graphic User Interface, or it is also called Login Pad. So this GUI installation must be there in your laptop. How to install GUI, guys? For that, there is a link which is given in this video descriptions, or else if you have taken server access from my side, then look at here. This email, you guys, you might have received where like all the details will be there. Your GUI installations link will be there and uh, server details, ID, password, everything will be there in your email. So you can open that email and you can click on this link and the same link I've given here uh, in this so what is a video descriptions also. So even you can open the video descriptions and from there also you can click here. You can click here. And uh, so look at here now uh, this. OK, so click on your download. Click on download. It may take some time. A uh, little bit time. It will take guys maybe some uh, 30 40 seconds. It depends upon your internet speed. So meanwhile, what I'll do, I'll just pause this recording here. Now, so look at here. Now this option will appear. No need to worry guys. This is this file is not having any antivirus. Sorry, any virus or nothing is there. Uh, so you just click on download anyway. And this one, it has taken almost I think one minute for me since the video was paused. That is the reason. Very soon you have seen this option. Okay, for you guys it may take a minute or maybe more than that also. It depends upon your internet speed. Click on download anyway. And again, this is also going to take some time. So once again, I'll pause this recording. Uh, I'll pause this video. Uh, maybe uh, it may take another one minute. So I'll just pause it. Now, so look at here now this option will come here. So click on, just click on your desktop and then this file you have to first of all save it. Okay, this is the file, uh, GUI file. So you just save it on desktop itself. Click on save button. This one also taken almost one, one minute. Now you look at here. So it is like, now it is completed. It is done. Okay, it is done. So now what to do, just go on desktop itself directly. This is the file which is there, right? You double click on this file, simply. Installations, now it is going to be pretty simple here. Okay, so now window protected from PC. So now what is up, uh, protected your PC? So now here, uh, of course, this is like external file. So this kind of notification you may get. Simply what you have to do, you click on more info and run anyway. Okay, run anyway. Click on this. And once you click, now the file extraction will be started soon. You look at here, the file extraction is already started. Here it was there. Now, so file extraction is already started. Uh, in older version, what was happening, guys? The extraction was supposed to be done manually. Now, uh, this is the recent version of GUI. So here, the extraction is pretty simple. Automatically, is happening. Now, look at here. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes. You click on yes, and then look at here. Now, installation is started. Okay. So uh, here, you need to click on next option and then you need to select this one this checkbox is there now here you click on here yes look at here the check mark is applied and then next button appeared if you remove the check mark the next is not highlighted so you are you have to apply a check mark here and then click on next and now installation is started Again, it is going to take another one to two minutes. It depends upon your internet speed. So what I'll do, I'll just pause this recording here. 25% done. Look at here, 50%, more than 50%.
so now it is about to complete so in between like i just pause the video it has taken almost i think uh, maybe some 50 60 seconds another one minute it has taken for this one also now so almost is it is completed 100 percent yes now it is completed so click on close and then look at here guys yes now there is no need of this folder this file so you can click here and recycle bin sorry you can bring it under recycle bin and then this is your sap login pad what do you need to do guys double click double click on this one okay so once you double click now look at here for me what is happening guys for me look at here the servers are appearing why because i have uninstalled this and then reinstalled that is why all these servers are already created and it is it is now appearing what do you have to do you need to do one thing i'll, I'll just show you very simple steps is there so what do you have to do guys now i'll just do one thing i'll delete one this one and then i'll show you so simply this is totally blank for you people you simply click on connection and then you need to click on new entry and here click on next and then here descriptions you can give any descriptions guys i'm going to write your sap sap and application server so these details here in the video descriptions also it is there or is like if you have taken server from anywhere uh, then you can enter that particular descriptions right or else like uh, so here the description is already given here in this email also so look at here simply i'm going to copy when you copy be careful don't don't copy like any additional space okay instead of that you can type manually also 183.82.1.220 so this is what the application server here instance number 22 system id eh7 and user id and password okay if you have taken server from any uh, 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 from other places and all you can use those this what to say descriptions and those details and those id and password so simply i'll copy here and i'm going to paste it system instance number 22 now here 87 nothing else now click on next next and then finish okay so now look at here it is added double click and then here i'm just this is one time id guys okay so here once you give whatever id you have received you have to use that id and give the password and that password is also one time password so you can change the password you keep your new password here and the same password you have to repeat okay i'm just going to keep one password here and the same password i'll repeat here and then you will be able to okay choose different passwords so it's okay no issues so uh, anyway whichever password you want like let's suppose okay now i'm given a different password it is working fine okay so uh, this is what the simple process now if you have like as i said like if you have already id and password and all you can use that or else if you have if you're not having if you want to take it from my side then look at here these are the details you can go through these details and if you have any query uh, this is my whatsapp number you can contact me you can reach me out at this number guys